So you're going to need some pipe cleaners to build the frame of your fox. I'm using black and white here, white for the body and black for the legs, but you can use ordinary wire if you prefer. Okay, so the first thing to do is bend the very tip over on your white pipe cleaner and measure the body shape. And then cut to length, bending the tip over this end as well. Now we're going to attach the front leg, so bend the very tip over of your black pipe cleaner and measure to the leg length on the stencil sheet one and just hold on to that and then find the mark point on the body. So keep that length, so that's going to be your leg length, just double check. Um, you still keep it the same length because it's easy to make them a little bit too short or a little bit too long. So yeah, that's good. Okay. And once you have that, hold on to the point and tightly wrap the excess around like this. Just a couple of times. And then measure the other pipe cleaner to length. Now you want to bend the leg into this shape here. I like to work on the head first so take a little bit of some white carded wool. You don't need much at all and just thin that out and you just want to wrap that around the nose um, snout area. Again, this is uh, your fox, so you don't have to stick to the measurements. They're literally just a guide to help um, if you need it. Okay, now we're going to take some carded rust coloured wool and just wrap that around. I'm going to add a little bit more of the carded wool, uh, the rust carded wool around the head. Now just coming onto the snout to match that that's on the pattern. So now if you look this way, you can see we've got uh, some building up to do on the sides of the head. So the way I like to do that um, without bulking it up too much is by needle felting a couple of separate sections. So I'm going to do a test first because we don't need too much. And we roll that up tightly and it should kind of match in with this section here. Needle felt a few times to secure. There's one, and do the other one. Okay, and then what we're going to do now is fold that in half, like this, and needle felt through the fold. And then, uh, you can use your stencil as a guide if you like, but you just want to position that in line here on the lower half of the head. So not on the snout, but just coming in here and we needle felt that into place. And we needle felt this side all in around the head like this. And underneath, half. And line up by looking at the front and the top. And once you get the position, you can just needle felt that into place and we're going to make another one so another section like this the same size and this time we're going to needle felt that straight over the top of the head and this just builds up because they have quite high foreheads um, foxes so we want to build that up Oh, 
all we're going to do now is cover these joins like onto here and here by using um, just tiny bits of the same carded wool and just needle felting them over. You see the joins are quite noticeable there. So we just you don't need much at all because um, we don't want to build up the snout too much more. It's literally just to cover the joins. And we can't see any joins on the top. The underneath of the head, don't worry about these joins too much because we're going to put white under here in a bit. So you don't have to use the carded wool, the rust carded wool to cover those joins. Just a bit more in the back of the head to cover that. So for now let's move on to the body and we're just going to wrap that with the same um, colour carded wool. And in between the legs and around the neck. And don't go onto the tail just yet, so we're going to leave that section unwrapped. And adding a second layer. Okay, I think just a tiny bit more around there and the chest area. Okay, and then I like to wrap a separate um, strip, not too much, just a small strip around the neck. So just holding this in place on the um, stencil sheet to body shape, I can see I need to build up the bottom area just a tiny bit more. We'll do that now. Okay, so the next thing to do is if you bend the head forward like this, you'll see there's um, a gap between the wrap uh, section around the neck. So what you want to do is just cover that by needle felting a little bit more carded wool over the gap. So firstly we're going to needle felt that in to the head like this. You also might find that you have a couple of wrap joins on the body, it depends how much you've needle felted. I'm okay with how that looks, but if you want to, you can just needle felt um, tiny bits over to give a smoother finish. You could add a lighter colour even to give a bit of variation of your fox, so that's up to you as well. So the legs might have got caught up a little bit in the wrapped uh, section here, you just want to pull them down a little bit like that and now we're going to wrap the legs and for the legs I'm just going to wrap them with some uh, black carded wool okay so you just want to hold on the top of the leg like this and keeping it nice and tightly as you uh, wrap the wool around keep it nice and smooth and wrap all the way down I like to keep the legs really quite thin. Um, this is about five millimeters in thickness and then they get slightly thicker as you go up. And you may find that you want to just add a little bit more wool just around the top section of the leg. And once you're happy with the legs, you want to just wrap 
this shoulder area. So take your cardio ball and hold one end onto the side of the body and just wrap that around. More to cover the join like this on the side of the body. And just match the other one up the same. Okay, now we're going to wrap the tail. So just take a little bit of your white carded wool around, keeping it thin. So I'm keeping it around 10 millimeters. Again, you can use your fingers to even it out. Then I'm going to wrap the base of the tail along like this. It doesn't matter, if you're going to be covering it in uh, the top coat fur, then it doesn't have to be particularly neat. Let's try and get it to an even thickness. So remember that if you want to um, build up the tail with the carded wool, then you just keep wrapping, keep shaping until you're happy with the size. I'm not going to add the top coat fur to the tail just yet, so I like to do that more towards the end because it can easily get um, messed up. So we're going to move on for now and do the back legs. So going back to our first stencil sheet, just bend the very tips over of a pipe cleaner. So you want two, we're going to make each leg separately. And bend into shape. And we're going to wrap about halfway down the thigh area. And it depends how much sort of detail you want to add, but I like to build this lower section here of the ankle area. I like to build that up just a little bit thicker. Then you want to measure out two equal amounts of the rust carded wool and just wrap that around the top section of the leg to build up the thigh area. So against the stencil sheet, the tops of the legs on mine aren't quite thick enough. So I'm going to needle file just a little bit more wool around. And now you want to bend the very top section of the thigh over. And then position your fox so that he balances. Yep. Once you're happy with the position and the balance, you can needle felt the first leg on. Make sure that we get the other one positioned nicely so and that he balances, needle felt that into place. And to smooth everything out, so just going over this join onto the leg. And once the legs are attached nicely, you can just squish that up a little bit. So just take a little bit of your white carded wool and we're gonna start by needle felting the underside of his head. Building up in layers, just 
going slightly around to the sides of his face. And we're going to keep adding little bits of the white all the way down his tummy now. I'm going to add a little bit more of the white to the side of the face for the white whisker detail. I'm just carefully dragging over the tip, the nose area. Leave these more bushy if you want to. I'm just going to needle felt them in, but you can if you want to add a few more and just leave, give your fox a really sort of bushy whisker section, then you can. I'm going to make mine a little bit more white because you can still see some of the rust coming through. When I'm doing the other side, once I'm happy with one side, I like to look um, from the front just to try and get the shape even. Then you can kind of match it with this side. Okay, I'm once you're happy with the whiskers, um, I like to needle felt the definition of the cheeks from the underside. I just needle felt a line and a line and a line across here. Gives a little bit more definition to the fox's whiskers as well. Okay, and now I'm going to add a tiny bit of the rust coloured wool on top of his nose area here. Okay, so we're going to make the ears for our fox now. And lift and then use your fingers to help flatten the ears and the fuzziness down. Once you're happy with the shape of the ears, I like to needle felt a bit of black wool. Uh, this is just a black cardi wool into the center. And then we're going to draw Take some of the white and just kind of, don't need much at all, just use it to draw the ear fluff. You can just have one side of the ear fluff if you want to, or you can go all the way around. I might actually just do this box with this side of the ear fluff. Okay, and then we want to just trim this black and white fuzz off the back. I like my foxes to have quite pointy ears so just pinch in between your fingers, fold and pinch like this to help shape them and then you can just needle felt onto the back of the head. What I'm actually going to do is because I, I don't want to build up the back of the head much more so I don't usually recommend cutting but in this case it won't hurt just to trim the excess of the ears if you couldn't pull enough off earlier and shape them like this and then just position and needle felt into place. and you see this join here just to make it look a bit more natural you just want to cover that with a tiny bit of the carded wool and needle felt right in between the ears that also helps hide the joins and anchor the ears on more securely Now I'm going to add a little bit more wool just around this join here and it just helps um, really 
hide the ear join and sort of blend it all together. So at this stage, before I add the nose and the eyes, I like to really just look at my fox and if I need to adjust anything, then I sort of do it now. Okay, now I'm going to make him a little nose. So to do that, I've just got some cloudy black wool, just want to needle felt it all over and just roll a little sort of oval shape. So you want to go in the center of the top section, needle felt in. And then fold forwards next you can um, add a little mouth if you wanted to or on this occasion I'm just going to do a tiny line going down from the center of the nose so just to add a little bit more detail Next I want to add a little bit of detail to the side of my fox's nose. So I'm going to use some dark brown cardi ball, but a tiny, tiny amount, so hardly any. And I'm going to needle felt that in a sort of um, upside down triangle. And looking at the front, just trying to match up the pattern. And I'll show you a way of just smoothing out the legs in a minute. Okay, now I'm going to add the eyes. Um, so we just want to line the eyes up with the inner section of the ear. I've left about a centimetre gap in between the ears. And that just gives a nice space for the eyes as well. So you can add a little bit of um, PVA glue to the back of your eyes as well. That will give them a more permanent hold. And you just push those in. Now I'm going to leave this fox with this, these eyes like this. Um, but like what I did on this fox here, you can just needle felt a little bit of yellow wool around the eyes. And then a little bit of black detail around the eyes. Um, so I'm not going to do that on this one. I think he looks quite cute like that, actually. But what else you can do for the, just to give a bit more realism, is if you needle felt, they have this kind of dent in the forehead like this. So if you needle felt a little dent like this. And then above the eyes as well, like a little arch. And that just gives a little bit more of a nice expression on the face. Also, if you're doing the more realistic eyes with the yellow um, detail, you can use a sewing needle to just pull the eyelid forwards and over a little bit. Okay, so now we've come to my favourite part, which is actually um, adding the nice fur to the tail and I'm using for that some Corydale tops and the first thing we're going to do is lay the tail vertical up like this then we lay the sections horizontal across like this and needle felt straight down the middle nice and securely all the way to the top like this okay then we're going to turn the tail over take our other section and needle felt that, I don't want that hair on there. Ah, okay. And needle felt. So we're sandwiching the tail in between the two strips. This part, make sure we needle felt just through the part in of each strip. Right, then once that's anchored on, you want to carefully tease the wall this way to go vertical in line with your fox's tail. 
and you needle fold just lightly here and there just to encourage it to stay how you want it. So just lightly going up like this. Nice and like so. Okay. Now to avoid gaps, as we're going to keep wrapping up like this, going towards the bottom, to avoid gaps, we've done the top and the bottom of the tail. So we're going to alternate now and do the same thing, but needle felt the sides as it were. And then, so once we've got the white on, before we move any further, we just want to trim that. Like so. Just kind of, if you sort of feather cut up into the wall, it will give a more natural finish. Kind of squeeze the end to a bit of a point, I'll just encourage a nice shape. Now I'm going to blend a little bit of black corydale with a bit of brown. Okay, so we'll do it this side. And then turn and sandwich the tail in between like this. Now, before we pull the wool forward this time, you want to cut the length first, otherwise it'll all get a bit messy onto the um, tip of your, the white tip of your fox. So, you want the strands to be around one and a half centimeters. Um, foxes' tails tend to get bushier in the middle, so you can always do longer hair uh, the higher up you go. I just, you'd be a bit daring. You can always take it off and redo it if you need to. And just trim. And once you're happy, just drag forwards onto the white like so that's what I mean if you don't cut it I should have pulled that off first then you get all the black hairs on the white just carefully drag that forwards so again if you have any gaps you can just add a bit more So, to the sides. And then use your hands just to help shape. To give a kind of more natural look for the rest of the tail, I'm just going to blend some rust with like a lighter shade and needle felt on. And turn and needle felt the other side and trim and just drag up like this so again when we move up the next step we're going to put our sections here to cover this gap in between. And when you get to the final um, 
sections, you just want to make sure that they're nicely tucked in around the base of the tail, slightly into the back. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to do now is just, I've just got a little bit of PVA glue mixed with some water. And I'm just going to smooth that around the legs, which just not only keeps the wool in place, but it gives a nice, neat finish when it's dry. Like so. I also like to add a little bit to the nose. And the back feet as well. That's our little fox all finished. Really hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you back here soon.